Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you some photos that I took at a football game at Arrowhead Stadium, the home of the Kansas City Chiefs. The camera that I used for this is the Canon Autoboy D5. This has the panoramic feature in it. Um, it's a underwater camera, point and shoot. Uh, it reads DX coded film, which is the reason I had to use this camera. So it's not the sharpest, but it works and the exposures are always correct. So um, the metering is spot on. Um, I wanted to shoot a 800 speed film portrait 800 at Arrowhead because it was going to be a nighttime game. And I wanted to be able to get some photos of the pregame and everything kind of leading up to the game. Um, and I got a little shoot happy and actually finished it right before pregame. With this camera, you do have a panoramic mode. The panoramic mode, all it does is cuts off. Might be hard to see. Some sliders come down. And what they do is they cut off the frame to give you a panoramic frame. Um, other than that, that's not why I chose to use this camera. Uh, the panoramic mode is just a specialty thing that I used on a few photos just because um, I don't use the camera much and I wanted to uh, test it out. But with all that said, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw up the images and here they are. So from past experiences, I knew that I would need something faster than a 400 speed film and I had a roll of portrait 800 sitting around and I could have gone with Cine Still 800T, but I knew with the amount of lights at Arrowhead that would be on because it's a night game that the halations from 800T would be overbearing and kind of possibly kill the images for what they are. So I figured 800 Portra was the best way to go. Um, I could have put in a 400 speed film and pushed it, but I kind of just wanted to shoot a film at box speed and just get some solid images that I could possibly um, get super scanned and possibly print for my portfolio or just to have um, framed um, for family members that are Chiefs fans. So I really liked how the colors came out. Everything seemed to be perfectly fine exposure wise. A few images I did use the flash on outside of the stadium, which came in handy because the sunset was really orange that night and yellow. And so using the flash exposed the foreground and allowed the sunset to uh, be fully saturated and exposed properly. Um, so there's always a plus of using flash in the right areas and at the right time. Um, I really just like some of these images on how they came out and um, they'll be good uh, little time capsules to look back on when I'm going through old photos or scrolling through my Flickr of old film photos I've taken. Seeing those photos remind me of the intense overtime that we went into. Uh, the game was a really good game to be at as a just a football fan. So. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed these images. Uh, like and subscribe if you don't want to miss any of the, my future videos, and I'll see you next time.